Hi there, my name is Ali Cassetti, the owner of Yours Real Estate Team here in Solano County. I'm here with Barbara today. She's the owner of the Academy of 21st Century Learning. Absolutely phenomenal school here. Barbara, go ahead and introduce yourself. Good morning, good morning, and um, welcome to your home. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> The Academy of 21st Century Learning has a new home as well. Uh, we no longer are brick and mortar, we are online. And the transition has been interesting, to, to put it mildly. And I think that in today's, today's world with what we're going through, I'm sure that you've also seen that you need to be creative, you need to be supportive, you need to be patient with yourself, patient with your children, patient with your nation, just patient. And that's probably the hardest lesson to learn, right? Definitely. So at the academy, yeah, at the academy, what we have done is when we realized that the schools were going to close, I pulled together the executive team and we decided immediately that we needed to go online, that our children would not be sitting there waiting for, um, for anything because you cannot wait in education uh, and in education if you wait you lose you forget so literally three days after the schools were closed our kids were online and they've been online ever since uh, they are still learning coding they are still learning mandarin they are still learning spanish they have all of the regular subjects and they and they are progressing extremely well That's but again i think that Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing that you were able to do that. I'm going to ask you to take just one step back and let us know how you did that, because that's not easy to do. You have an entire school. I mean, this is yes. no joke. So you have your daughter on board. You have your son on board. How are you I, yep. in it like that? You, because I think that the thing that we all have to remember right now is to utilize resources available. And the resources I had available were, were really very, very um, smart. <laughs> and so I was able to, to pull from those resources. And we, we decided, what is it that the kids had to have? Uh, what is it that Jen, who's been with me for seven years, she, she's the organizer and she can do all of the scheduling. And, and so we thought, no, these classes cannot be an hour. We're going to, we're going to take them down. So the kids basically lose an hour of school time. Um, but, but they've gained and, and, and stayed uh, solid in their academics. But it's, it's just working together as a team online, like we're doing right now, and figuring out how can we make lemonade out of lemons, basically. Right? And you've done it. That's the best part about it, is you we've actually done it. did it. In 72 hours, you were able to bring yeah. all of your students back to school. I don't think yep. that there's another person that's done that. We, uh, to me, we didn't have a choice um, because we are, we, are, we are fighting a battle in education. We have to be able to put our children into a situation where they're competitive in the global marketplace because we are a flat world. And so the only way that we can do that is to keep them going. It's too, it's too easy. To, to sit back and wait for somebody else to do it, can't do it. You've got to do it yourself. And it's okay to fail. We've, 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 had, we've had a lot of growth experiences, believe me. But it's funny because the kids are starting to help. Oh, Miss Barbara, if you, if you touch over here, if you do this, it'll work. So, so my, my fourth graders are teaching me how to use Zoom. I love it. I love it. Oh, my gosh, Barbara, that's amazing. How many students do you have? We have 50 students online right now. And that's from uh, kindergarten one, which are basically a, a beginning of uh, five years, you know, four years, eight months through about five years, uh, two months, all the way through eighth grade. Wow. And what a relief for the parents. I mean, how many parents are going absolutely crazy right now because they've never been a teacher? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the support that we have had from our families is is. A 12 on a 10 scale um, they've been patient with us they've supported us um, they they have been amazing um, and we've had a lot of growth experiences like the computers not working I have no computer what whatever it is and then of course what's going on at home what's going on at home is going to affect education and some of these parents have have been laid off some of these parents are are in trouble and so 
part of what we need to do as a community is to support where we can support. So for my parents who, who right now, they can't make it, I'm a private school, I said, there's no problem there. Your kids are safe. They're, they're gonna to go to school no matter, no matter what. It'll, it'll all work out in the end. And, and I believe that is very, very true as long as we work together. It's so true. And you just hit the nail on the head. Right now, we need each other more than ever. And it's okay to accept the help, right? Like It is okay. It there's is okay. There's no way to do it by ourselves. So the fact that you've been able to bring them in, how are you finding that the students are engaging? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, well, we have Zoom parties, if you will. Um, Thursdays um, are bring your pet to school day. So whether it's a lizard on your head or a kitten on your shoulder, we have our pets at school. And, and so it's, it's keeping them doing crazy fun things. You know, we think everything is fun. We think education is fun. And the more that we can make it fun, the more the kids want to go to school. Wow. Yeah, no, definitely. And are you guys at your cap right now with 50 students or? We are. Okay. Um, in terms of our brick and mortar, we are. But what we've done to support the community is, is there's a lot of talk about what the heck is going to happen next year. Right. We know, we know summer learning loss was bad enough. You typically lose three months, but now we've, we've been gone, you know, five months and, and What's going to happen then? And so, and so are we going to go back to school in July? Are we going to hold the kids back a year? I mean, what's going to happen? So what I've done, pull the team together again, we've, we've created a package where we will take the children from basically the middle of, let's say they're a second grader, the middle of second grade, we will teach them all of the standards and what they would have learned had they been in school. And they'll be, in, they'll be at the uh, Academy Virtual School, 12 to a, st a class, so lots and lots of individualized attention. And we can't help everybody, but hopefully we can help some. That's amazing. Um, you're definitely going above and beyond. So thank you so much for that. It is our pleasure. <laughs> and I mean, with all of this that you're doing, where do you think this is going to go in the future, right? So you just said it. We don't know what's going to happen next year. Do you see this kind of virtual learning continuing on in education? Or I do. You know what's really interesting what's happening is the, the kids are tired when they, they put in four hours of school, um, but, they, but their focus is unbelievable. And I think that they are learning at a deeper level. I think their focus is really improving and for a lot of children that's a big issue um, because because there's not a thousand things happening around them they're able to really concentrate get into the material I'm teaching physics to third and fourth graders and and they're getting it um, so I, I think that this whole online is definitely going to be the norm um, what we are looking at right now is we're looking at can we combine can we combine brick and mortar and, um, and uh, virtual? Can we sometimes have the kids there for classes that they need the discussion or the art classes or whatever? Yeah. So there's a lot of creativity, a lot of thought going on right now. But yes, I think definitely, definitely uh, distance learning is here to stay. Well, I've got to tell you, I, for one, am so excited to see what you do. Really. It's amazing. Me too. I don't know what we're going to do next. <laughs> but you're going to do it. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, Barb, thank you again. I don't want to take up your whole day, but I've got to ask you before we go, is there anything that you want to say to Solano County, either about you, your school, your business, your children, or just in life? I think the biggest thing right now is love each other. Don't forget that. That's the most important thing. Love each other take care of each other, keep your sense of humor, and be patient. And if we can do that as a group, we're going to be just fine. You're amazing. Thank you so much, Barb. <laughs> Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye.